Pact of the Ancients is a very, very early in development action RPG demo. I'll tell you straight up, the idea here is to make a gay porn game. A gay porn game with functional action RPG mechanics, including skill trees, loot, and classes. There's no shortage of heterosexual porn games, so seeing a homosexual equivalent is pretty neat, I think. An action RPG is a strange choice in genre to boot, because it's a pretty difficult and complex bar to aim for. It's in 3D, too, there's considerable game balancing to consider in any proper RPG, and there's just a lot that can go wrong. Since this is an early pre-alpha, it's hard to say whether the devs have a grasp of everything, but what I'm seeing here is promising. You're only allotted a few skills, there's just one level, and it's not really possible to experiment much, granted, but it's functional on a conceptual and practical level, most of the time. The skills you can unlock actually work properly, even if some of them have to be aimed rather meticulously. They all have real utility, and most importantly, using them thoughtfully, along with stat distribution, is essential to not getting destroyed. You cannot just rush in and smash attack, or you'll swiftly be reduced to paste. Proper spacing, kiting, and crowd management tactics are required. It's pretty simple stuff, sure, but I've played plenty of completed action RPGs with less diligence paid to challenging game design. It seems like the devs know their stuff so far. The story, on the other hand, is more mixed. There are some vague promises toward religious and political drama, and the main character belongs to a highly controversial mercenary group, the local populace is gradually turned into deranged monsters, stuff like that. Naturally, everyone has their own ideas about why this tragedy is occurring, and it's up to you to find out the truth. The answer is probably gay porn, but hey, I've seen porn with serious storytelling chops before, and it's too early to rule this one out. Overall, I'm interested in seeing where this goes, and I hope that the developer isn't too discouraged by the difficulty in making a 3D action RPG.